Hello everyone. Welcome to the second video of the Civil 3D course. Today we will bring our data into the survey database which we created on our first video. To import data into survey database we have two options in the Civil 3D. The first one from the ribbon we will go to the insert tab and from the import panel we will click this icon import survey database. If I click over here I will get the import survey database wizard. The second option to bring the same wizard to our screen. From the tool space, we will go to the survey tab. From here, we will expand our survey database. This is the database which we have created in our previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, you can find the link in the description of this video. So we will right click and open for edit. Once we click, now it's ready to import the data. From here, we'll select the first option, import events. We'll right click here and click import survey database. Once we click there, we got the same wizard which we got before when we click over here in the ribbon import survey data. So here it's only one so far. If you have to many of the data, you will see a long list here. You will select the correct one from the list and click next. Once you click the next, here is the first option is data source type. Now it's showing a point file. If I click over here, I can see four different options, which is a field book file, which is known as FBK file, land XML point file, which can be a CSV or a TXT file and point from the drawing is also the option is available. The data what I have is a CSV file, so I am going to select point file as a data source. After selecting the data source, we have to bring our data in, which is the selected files. To bring the data, we will click this green cross mark. Once I click here, from this wizard, I will go to the directory where I have saved my data. From here, now I can't see any CSV file here because my file of type is showing a txt. So I will change over here a csv. Now from here I will select my csv file. The data I am going to import is the topo data, the csv. I will select my file. There are two options. Either I can double click or I just select the file and I click here on the open. Both will work same. Once the file is imported we can see a green check mark here. This green check mark indicates that this data type is suitable for the civil 3D and format is supported by the software. If you see here a red check mark, it means there is something wrong with your file and your data is not supported by the civil 3D. So after seeing this green check mark, now we'll go to the next option, which is a specify point file format. This format shows that how our data is arranged in the columns. Here it is E and Z, E for easting and for northing, Z for elevation. The data which I have, I have easting, first I have a point number, then east value, then northing, elevation and then I have description. But here if you see, I am just seeing the easting, northing and elevation. I can't see the point number and description because I haven't selected the right format from here. I will scroll down and I will select P, E and Z, D. Once I click over there, see the preview here is changed. Now I can see my point number, easting, nothing, point elevation and draw description. After selecting the right file format, we'll click the next. Here is a survey network. We are not going to create a network. This is necessary if you are creating, uh, importing a FBK file or if you want to do any traverse adjustment. I am not going to do that. My traverse is already adjusted. So simply I am going to click next. Here we are going to do some setting for our data. First thing point file format we already selected. From here we also can change this one. The file name which we selected the topo data. The next is current figure prefix database. So far it's showing the project one. If I click over here, there are two. 
the sample is the default of civil 3d this is the project one i created by myself so i'm going to select the sample process line work during the import we'll keep this on the yes current line work code set it's a sample here if i click here there is nothing these two options the current figure prefix database and line work code sets we will discuss in our next video that how to create and how these two options work in civil 3d rest of the setting we are going to keep same and i will click on the finish once we click on the finish data start importing this importing time took according to the file size and your uh, specification of the system you can see on the screen some figures are already inserted but so far there is no data the data is imported in the survey database but not yet inserted into the drawing to see the data in the drawing i'll go to my topo data file i will right click the file which i have imported and i will click on insert into the drawing once i click my points all are inserted in the drawing here if you can see the points have different styles some of the points are showing the tree sign some are showing just basic cross here some line works is already automatically drawn here also we can see a tree so why some of the points have a tree sign and why some of them have the cross sign because these points are controlled through the description keys and why this line work is automatically created because there was some codes already set in the line work code sets so line work code sets figure prefix because if you see here both of these line have the different colors because they are under the control of two different figure uh, properties so the figure the line work and the description key we are going to discuss in our next video so till the next video goodbye see you